<laughs> I do it for you. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> What's happening, Crypto Crew? This is Cal Elkin Fly with my wife, Emily. Hello. And we're about to get into episode five of Ted. Uh, this one's entitled Desperately Seeking Susan. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what that means exactly. Maybe Susan gets fed up and leaves. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can't blame her. She no. definitely, in episode three, she had a bit of a crisis of right. within a marriage. And she doesn't get treated very nicely no. overall she's by her husband. About and just, yeah, yeah. Not she, at all. It seems like she does for everybody else, and nobody really does anything for her. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, yep. I'm, I'm kind of curious what that's all about. Me too. But she's funny. She is funny. She's funny. She's, she's quirky. Different. Yeah. Definitely memorable character. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, let's let's jump into episode five. Let's see what this has for us. Uh, before we do, please do smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. As always, it helps our channel out greatly when you do that. Uh, if you would like to support the channel in a different way, we do have our YouTube memberships and our Patreon. Those will be linked in the video description down below. $5 a month gets you access to, the, uh, to our personal Plex server, so you can get the full-length, unedited reactions to this show, as well as all the other shows and movies that we do. And if you do decide to do that, we would greatly appreciate it. Yes. All right. Are you ready to jump in? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do this. All night and party every day. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You know, I used to think the words to this song were, I want to rock and roll all night and part of every day. And <laughs> part of every day. The song, The Monster Mash is a song about a dance called the Monster Mash, which is based on a song called the Monster Mash, which is not the song, the Monster Mash. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't want to be high anymore. Hey, that one piece. Isn't that amazing? Oh, God, we're smiling on us that day. Oh. Oh! Holy shit. Did we die? Yeah, I think. I think. Did we die? <laughs> Plugged in the egg beater. Why are you using the egg beater when I'm watching Star Search? I was making his brownies. I, now I'm not going to know who the new stars are going to be. Why well, don't I have to finish them? I'll just throw the bat out. Well, I'm, if, you, if you already started them, you might as well finish them. <laughs> I'm going to go reset the breaker. Out of my way, Johnny. Oh my god. They can see us. We must still be alive. <laughs> A second chance. Huh? Okay, this time you be the Q1 and I'll be the hollow. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh oh. A spider. spider. Or we could take a shappy and circle the pats on each other's bodies we think need improvement. <laughs> That's <all. laughs> uh. <laughs> a trivial pursuit in one of these boxes. Why is the floor wet? Uh, I... Did he piss himself? Did he? Oh! The Isn't... doctor says if it's been more than two days, you need to call him. I did it yesterday. It was a good one. Like a mother hen crowing over her egg. You are. <laughs> He's the one acting like a whining baby. He should be apologizing to you. I shouldn't have embarrassed him. Oh. <laughs> oh. Susan, am I an asshole? Oh, of course not, Maddie. You're a veteran. See? You're a veteran. <laughs> you dishonorably discharged? No. I, I wasn't dishonorably discharged or honorably discharged. How the hell does I went in uh, what's the matter? Are you scared of therapy too? Oh, it's oh, on, shit. fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. We'll go. Just to show you that you're full of shit. And Susan and I have a great marriage. In fact, you know what? Let's go right now. 
It's not open at 9 p.m. Oh, and the bullshit begins. And the bullshit begins. And she's just smiling. Right. Like, she wants to be called beautiful and held and probably kissed, and she don't get that. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? It huh? just seems like there's a little fashion emergency going on. Did you get your pants from the Lost and Found? <laughs> fashion emergency. Yeah, these pants are a little big. They were my dad's. Why am I wearing my dead father's pants, you ask? Because I've moved back in with my mother. My wife left me two weeks ago for a racquetball teacher. Oh. Now, God, chill out. It was a joke. I'd love to chill out, Erin. <laughs> I really would. But you Uh-oh. He's going crazy. Yeah. I have to masturbate into the toilet because my bed squeaks. Of course, you ask my ex-wife. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness. Man, that was insane, huh? Yeah, those chili is a meme. That's that's what you got <laughs> from that? Well, at least we got the afternoon uh, off. Street hockey? Street hockey. Oh, fuck you. All right. Yeah, street hockey. Car! The best shot. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, and Bennett chokes in the final seconds of the game. This is an absolute disgrace. Oh, shit. Look at the disappointed faces on all these Make-A-Wish kids who uh, only wanted to see... Make-A-Wish kids. Ha <laughs> ha! For that session, you just fucking walked out. That quack had it in for me the second I walked in that door. You know, you know what he said? You know what he said? He said I'm selfish. Oh, shocker. Yeah, he said I need to compromise more. Can you believe that fucking shit? I'm working a 60-hour week just to keep a roof over our heads. He does work a lot. See? Even she gets it. Everything I do, I do it for you. Wait, so you're saying you can't tell me it's not worth trying for? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you do! <laughs> I do it for you! <laughs> oh, that's great. Would you be willing to listen to Susan and Maddie's sides and then make an objective judgment call? What, you mean like a like a therapist? Not therapy, just listening. Oh, Blair, it's all right if he doesn't want to. I can just watch Oprah and maybe they'll have a topic that applies to me. <laughs> you know, the suit wasn't necessary. Blair, please. Johnny is my best friend. He's got a stake in this. So if I'm doing it, I'm doing it right. Now... Uh, Those glasses, though. Marriage as sexually satisfying. What? How often would you say you have intercourse? It's none of your goddamn business. Look, what? <laughs> she, she put a hand up. Six months. How many? Every six months. Uh, Maddie, what uh, originally attracted you to Susan? Her innocence. She's very innocent. Uh, what? I thought, uh, it, I already wrote that it's Russ. Russ. <laughs> it was a Friday, and he'd been working since 6 a.m. Poor Maddie was so tired. Well, if there's any cure for being tired, it's Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> <laughs> and I was all ready to apply for a job. And then I got married. Well, why couldn't you do both? Well, it just didn't seem practical with the, the groceries and the laundry. And Well, I mean, have you ever thought of going back to it? I think you'd be great. Oh, no. She would be a good... I don't teacher. know. Those kids would eat her up. Yeah. Nowadays. Yeah. Back then, not so much. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Chocolate, yeah. Milk. chocolate milk. No, yeah. Susan, for God's sake. Therapy over. We're doing chocolate milk now. Guys, <laughs> come on. This woman does everything for all of us in this house, and nobody ever does a goddamn thing for her. And now she's... That's what I said. Yeah. I think I just proved my point that this marriage is perfect. Yes. I couldn't say this in front of them, but they were both clearly molested. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It, she could be so much more, and it's so obvious that deep down she wants to be. You got all that from her saying she does anal? Yeah, you should be the pretend therapist. <laughs> what? <Ow. laughs> Did that George? No, what? 
He got fired. Oh shit, why? They caught him in the faculty lounge screaming at his own dick. Oh, that's what that was. Well, do they have someone to replace him? I don't know. I think they're trying to find a sub. Teddy. What? They're looking for a sub. Yeah, so? So Mom. what about Mom? Ah. I, I don't care. If people are shitting in his desk. Look, Teddy, we gotta at least try. Let's go talk. People are shitting in his desk. I, does Mrs. Bennett have any prior teaching experience? Oh, she's the one who taught me how to use the bathroom by myself. <laughs> yeah, last August, right? Oh, shut up, man. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I mean, she has always wanted to be a teacher. She just couldn't because she had to do laundry. There's a lot of laundry. Laundry, baking. And that's the monster mess. It's high being black. <laughs> what? Emma. I just got a call from the principal. Oh. Really? They want me to take over for Mr. George. Oh my god, you have to say yes. This is your chance. Well, if I'm working, then who's gonna let the mailman in to use the bathroom? Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you always worry about that? No, no. no. It's not about me. It's about what you Fuck want. Fuck the mailman. This was your dream. <laughs> Come on, you gotta give yourself a chance to see it through. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm all flushed. I'm gonna go stand in the basement water. <laughs> <laughs> Curls her feet off. I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever works. It's not all about smoking weed and, and scouring the beaches of the world looking for the perfect wave. We can. It's increasing. He's a care bear. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Susan, get out of the basement. I'm watching TV. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> She's standing in water while the yeah. electricity's like that. I'm okay. <laughs> Aw, she's so happy. Good for her. Hopefully, they're going to eat her up. They are. I said that. Yeah, especially the She's way too nice. Good morning, everyone. Hi, I'm your substitute teacher, Mrs. Bennett. Fuck yeah, great start. <laughs> did you pick out the skirt yourself, too? <laughs> I did. Is there something wrong with my skirt? I mean, not unless you're someone who thinks Marshall's is too pricey. <laughs> hey, Erin. Uh, wow. You bitch. Ted, we've never officially talked, but I know your work. Listen, I think Susan's I know doing a terrific right. job, so I figured this is a good time to tell you. We all know about the nose job you had last year. You didn't fool anybody because we all remember before the surgery when you tried to kiss Danny Santucci and you poked his eye out. Also, and if everybody in town knows this except you, your dad is really your uncle, which may have subconsciously fucked you up and caused your eating disorder, which is also no secret because everybody's heard you throwing up in the bathroom. And then, <laughs> wow, for a virgin, which is interesting because you've been lying about that too. So I hope you do give your boyfriend fellatio because at least then there's something going down your throat besides your finger. That about cover it? <laughs> oh! Wow! Good job, Daddy! Savage! Go ahead and read uh, the love song of J. Alfred Prue. Fuck. I'll be right back. You know, before Mrs. B, I didn't care nothing about reading, but she opened my eyes. These poems really are just like rap songs. <laughs> <laughs> These poems are like rap songs. <laughs> I think about that girl in the magazine. I just. I hope somebody gave her a job. She doesn't have to interact with the public. <laughs> Oh, Lordy! <laughs> That's fucked up! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she tried. She did well. Yeah, she... Even though she was being a bitch to her, she still went out there and consoled her. And... And by the way, I didn't know that girl's brother was murdered when I said that stuff. I mean, really, you stepped up and... You did it. Yeah. What's the matter? Blair, I'm not going back. Aww. Aww. She enjoys taking care of her family. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just putting it together now, but do you think all the lactose is maybe the reason he's oh, so... Blair, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the best part of my day was helping that, that girl with the nose job. Oh, it's a terrible nose job. It's a terrible nose job. <laughs> I didn't want to feel badly about it, but just being there for her made me feel so good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Special power, Blair. Helping people who need me. Making them happy is what makes me happy. I mean, you know, you can do both. I don't want to. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> no. It's okay. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> My big toe looks like a frog holding his breath. <laughs> Better. Yeah, well, it hurts like a shit house. Man, why don't we go upstairs to the bedroom and you can show me your toe? Okay? All right. Aww. Ugh, I so many steps. I know. <laughs> she is so sweet. She is. I just want to go on the record that I don't approve of this kind of enabling. Well, if this week has taught us anything, it's that what matters most is Blair's approval. <laughs> so. Just bums me out. I did wonder if they were going to start doing this stuff together. Be happy with so little. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't like those women either. They need to have more ambition like us. But you get what I'm saying, right? I mean, people just walk all over her and she just smiles and keeps on like vacuuming the fucking floor. I mean,. <laughs> She kind of told you to fuck off. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Uh, mission accomplished, huh? This is going to be a thing, isn't it? That the three of us get high. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, enjoy your new life. Yeah, sure. Remember when I was a therapist? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! For sure, I tell you. It was episode. fun. It was. Yeah. I, I enjoyed seeing Susan kind of getting what she had wanted, but realizing yeah. that it really wasn't what she wanted. I think that was a, it was a big growth episode for her. Yes. You know, because it's like sometimes you, you have these dreams and you get the dream and it's not exactly what you think it's going to be. Mm -mm. Um, But it was so sweet to see John and Ted both... Go to the principal and ask her to give her the job. Yes. That was sweet and enough. Defender. And then Defender in the class yeah. like was yeah. was awesome. Um, yes. And that's that's family, right? Exactly. Like that's you will you will do whatever you have to for family. Exactly. And even though Ted is technically not blood related, he is right. family. Right. He is family though. Um right. And yeah, so it, it was a sweet episode from that perspective, uh, but funny as heck. It was. Uh, <laughs> really funny. <laughs> Ted as the psychiatrist was was pretty good. Um, and I'm kind of warming up a little bit to Maddie. Like, you kind of see that they, as the parents, they do have a, a certain dynamic. They do. He would not, he would not be happy with anybody else. Other than her. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she would be happy with anybody else other than him. Mm -hmm. Like, they seem to work together because he is so boisterous and outgoing. Like, right. And she's able to take that. Understand that just because the way he delivers something, mm -hmm. um, it's not really the way he says it. It's the meaning behind it. Like, she understands his la language, mm -hmm. so to speak. And I think... That's what makes their marriage work. Right. Um, and back and forth. So I'm warming up to Maddie. He seems like a, an asshole. Mm -hmm. But I think their marriage and the wit, their dynamic is pretty interesting. Right. And it, it works. Yeah. But uh, wow. Wow. What an episode. Let us know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below. Please do special like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you later. Crypto crew.